M&M Gathering, the event on the Faith Fob. Magic and mayhem is in the air. Levels of life have many stairs. Magic is when life goes well. Mayhem leads when life is hell. As gamers, we fight demons and tame dragons. As warriors, we ride starships and navigate Wild West wagons. As seers, we get emotions on the horizon. With Lord's help, we achieve a Verizon. Artifacts lovingly help us take care. Enchantments from others might make us beware. While with other pilots, we learn to soar. Without good players, the game is a bore. Seekers of the life force come out and play. Making life go well means having the secrets of how to earn points and keep evil at bay. Harvesting power, we learn the rules. At this event, we learn unique tools. Wear your favorite costume and gear up to learn how to cast spells, as well as utilize tools. Winning more in life comes from not being a fool. Calling people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s to discuss building fortune and finding fame. Join us, magicians, sorcerers, villagers, and wizards. Everyone is welcome, just the same. People who love gaming unite to learn the good fight. Discuss in group Magic and Mayhem of Your Soul's Life. Related to the online podcast, Magic and Mayhem, the Archangel Advocate leads this group. He gives gamers wisdom and teaches men how to gain more angels in life. Bring your journal and a good pen to take notes. Many people will discuss your character and tally votes. A talisman necklace is required or a quality faith bomb can be purchased with coins if desired. Mainly as a marketing person, you have to learn how to promote yourself. When I'm trying to sell a faith fob to a particular target community, I write poetry or I develop some sort of song. I literally helped an insurance agent sing her 30-second or 60-second commercial with the little help of a family member who had musical talents. But in reality, it wasn't totally me. You see, a good team is produced when someone talks really and really with someone else. Literally, there is a person who is hacking my computer. I produce a file and they destroy it. It's their little game. It's their gay game, if you will. It's their liar's game. And openly, I'm tired of it all. When I talk on real life, I'm talking about real thing. When I talk about the faith fob, I'm really talking about God in heaven trying to help these young men to produce a better life than just sitting in a room playing games that are pretty mindless in terms of the productivity of life, the performance in the world, and the social skills they need to get ahead in life. You know, gaming is a fun thing to do. Every family should play games, every community should have game nights, but spending all your hours producing money to purchase games, to buy animals, to do things like this may not exactly be the healthiest thing for a young adult in their 20s, 30s, and 40s to literally produce. Making a life worth living in retirement with having is about the people we talk to, how we market ourselves, and what target communities we try to sell new ideas to. The problem with trying to sell a new idea is that that individual might just say, you know, I don't particularly care for that person because of how they said something or how they made me feel. So instead of trying to produce a real relationship with it, which involves the ups and downs of getting to know someone in life, they might simply just steal the idea or steal the productivity or actually steal the materials and try to produce it themselves. If I literally see a Japanese language program pop up in a Japanese in a gaming community, then I'll know that the one man I spoke to about that project has lied and stolen my materials or try to get some hot chick to be the leader of that. You see, the problem is that in life, there are people who can speak the Japanese language, but it doesn't mean that they can actually masterfully teach it in a way that many people can master. Now, if one of my students thought they'd mess around and take my files and then try to become me or try to produce a life based on mine, that's immoral. If it was the next door neighbor boy who sort of had some Japanese skills, who kept monkeying around with my technology when I lived in the arts and design district of Carmel, then maybe that Russian kid needs to go someplace that he deserves to be the liar's quarters, which is usually jail. You see, there's always someone who thinks a person is a liar, but the reality is those people are also liars. They literally think they have the right to rob a person of a life. They literally think they have the right to rob a person of the Lord's plan for their life. The problem with gamers is they don't recognize that they are playing God. They're not playing me. They're not playing anyone other than themselves, and they're not playing anything righteous is true. You see, when we are righteous in our minds, it does not mean that we are righteous with the Lord. The Lord protects me, the Lord protects people who love God, and the Lord protects all family members who participate in no sort of harm on other people's lives. You see, gossip is a killer of a man's life. Gossip and violations of HIPAA laws and violations of protection rights and violations of privacy are all killers of life. We have many movies, online and offline, that show us what happens when people do not think about their mouthpieces and how they violate laws and rights of other people. 
We have lots of people who think they have the right to monkey with people's food, with their beverages, with their homes, with their locks, with their property, with their things that they personally pilfer from other places and try and blame it on someone else. That's the lie they tell. Since I've been in this home, I've noticed a lot of things coming and going out of my sister's locked door. That is either her liability and that she failed to produce a lock, or she's the one doing it and lying about it, or it's someone else in her community, a child, a teenager, an adult, a neighbor who lies about having a key, who's monkeying around in her life and in her property. And maybe it's why she's struggling to feel like she's safe in her own home. I can't pretend to know what she thinks in her mind, but I certainly wouldn't try and go into her life and monkey with her rights in her job and other things. If she's using her employment computer to research things not related to her job, that's on her life. If she's doing it without thinking about how it looks, that's on her life too. I've made that accident one time in my life, but I was very young and I learned from someone saying, you know, it's not really appropriate to do that. I'm like, you know what? You're right. And I learned in that moment of time. But there are some people who never learn. There are some people who never learn that the Lord is the Lord of all, and the Lord sees all, and the Lord will punish those who harm other people's lives. Thanks for listening.